So in this video, we are going to see manual testing. What is this manual testing? Let's see. So testing is a method to check whether the actual product that we have developed matches the customer requirement or not. So the other reason for doing this manual testing is it will help you to ensure whether the product that is developed is defect free or not. So the main purpose of doing testing will be to identify the errors, suppose if any requirements are missing means, we will identify those things in testing. So why we are going for testing? Because the bugs that will be identified at the later stages will be very expensive. We need to treat it at the earlier stage itself. So when you do testing, it will help you to reduce the cost. Because I told you, right, bugs will be identified at the earlier stage itself. So they can be easily resolved and it will help you to produce more secure product because suppose if uh, some product is uh, having some risk means those risks will be mitigated during the test phase itself so it will help you to produce product which is of high secure which is of high security and then it will help you to ensure the uh, ensures the product quality and fourth one is it will help you to enhance the development process because it is a continuous process suppose if there is any mistake that will be uh, dealt uh, that the testers will identify them and they will inform to the development team and the development team will uh, make some changes and in this way they are enhancing the product quality so the main goal of testing the main aim of doing this will be customer satisfaction right so let's see what are the types of testing we are having so we are having two types of testing it is testing is broadly class classified into two types static testing and dynamic testing so ta static testing examples of reviews inspections walkthroughs desktop checking all those things will come under the static testing so it will be done without executing any code you will just verify the uh, product and you will not uh, check the code that is you will not execute the code and all and it will this will be performed before compilation so next one is dynamic testing so dynamic testing, what we will be doing is we will execute the code and we will validate the code here. And main goal of this dynamic testing is to find out the bugs and to fix the defects. So these are the categories of testing. So again, dynamic testing is classified into two types, functional testing and non-functional testing. So functional testing are again classified into two types that is black box testing and white box testing. So black box testing mo is mostly done by the testers and what they will do is they will test the behavior of the system. That is how the system behaves for valid credentials and how it behaves for invalid credentials. So that is black box testing. If it is white box testing, mostly it is done by the developers. They will check their code. They will execute some testing technique and they will check their code. So for black box testing, we are having some techniques like uh, equivalence partitioning, boundary value analysis, decision table, uh, state transition diagram. These techniques will be used. And for white box testing, they are using statement coverage, path coverage, and uh, uh, branch coverage, cyclometric complexity. So we are having certain techniques for performing white box testing too. So in most cases, black box testing will be done by the testers and white box testing will be done by the developers. And we have one more testing called non-functional testing. So here we will not test the functionality of the system. That is how it is behaves and all we will not check. So we will check the performance. We will check how fast the system is, how uh, the interface looks like, uh, how much time it is taking to perform something and what, how they will check their scalability, usability and those features will be tested in non-functional testing. And another category is manual testing and automation testing. So let's see the pros and cons between them. So if it is manual testing means, you will get accurate visual feedback, right? It is not possible in automation testing. And it is less expensive when you compare that with automation testing because in automation testing, we will be using automation tools that will be costly. And one more thing is 
it will have some limitations but here in manual testing you are not having those limitations and it is less expensive when you compare that with automation testing and suppose if you want to test a small part that if you want to check with automation means you have to code it and you have to uh, it will be a time consuming process and if it, if you face any bugs means to uh, solve that one also it will take some time and if you want to do manual testing there is no need for having code knowledge and all but if you want to do it automa in automation means you have to be expertise in that coding and without uh, human element if you want to check uh, interfaces user interfaces like if you want to check the uh, color if you want to check the font then that cannot be performed in automation testing uh, only in manual testing we can do those things and automation tools will be expensive and it will further increase the budget and tools will have some limitations too and debugging will be very difficult in automation testing so this is a advantage uh, that is advantages of using manual testing over automation testing